Sin is a self-punishing mechanism. Sloth, for example. If you waste your time, you then won't have it. There is no need for God to step in and execute punishment. If you murder someone, that poor individual's people will come murder you back. And then we'll all suffer. Again, no need for God to even the score. This needs to be said because the big problem with religious folks is they think that God is a cosmic Santa Claus who keeps track of all our naughty and nice deeds and will settle every last score like he's holding some omniscient grudge on everyone. So they become intellectually lazy as they assume that a sin is just something that God doesn't want you to do because, well, he just doesn't like it. And one, they forget that they are hurting themselves. Two, they begin to hold an unlovable image of God as some kind of idiosyncratic tyrant who just doesn't want you to do certain things like eating pork because it pisses him off. As though God is vain or something and just doesn't want you to hurt his image by making him look bad. God is compassionate, not angry. He has asked you not to do certain things because those actions themselves will lead to hurt. A sin is not something that God has forbidden because it will make him want to hurt you. A sin is something God does not want you to do because it will make you hurt yourself. If it really is a sin, he won't need to do anything to punish you. You'll do that to yourself. Sin is a self-punishing mechanism. Precisely speaking, to sin means to miss the point of things. And so here's another thing to be said about sin. A lot of philosophers will say that happiness is not the point of life. But the problem with this assertion is that if the point of life is not to be happy, then there can be no such thing as sin. Only when it has been established that the point of life is to be happy, can we then determine what those actions are that ruin that point and then call it a sin? So either the point of life is to find happiness or there is no such thing as a sin. Amatanin, Greek, to miss the point. 